going guys? Pat out here. Welcome to another episode from New G Bush Goods YouTube channel. I uh, thought I'd have another crack after yesterday's pretty good effort, but just uh, under two hours fishing. Today I've got a little bit more time up my sleeve, hopefully pushed out to three hours. The sun is shining, the wind is blowing, perfect conditions for trout fishing. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Sub if you're not subbed, drop some comments down there, it helps uh, grow my channel. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. So I'm starting off with a two inch bug in the copper berry. I was using the copper berry yesterday in the discontinued froglet, so we'll see how that goes, eh? I'm gonna try and fish this section fairly fast today. I said that yesterday, but I was probably a bit going a bit uh, slower than what I would have liked to. Just try and cover more holes. Try this little slow bit in here. Good cast. Oh yeah, that was a hit. That was a definite hit. I did see the fish for a moment. Might be a good idea to make this a little bit more streamlined. There's a small little pocket there. I might be able to hit it. Perfect cast. Go around the logs and that. Really good. The two inch bug today. I like the two inch bug. It's got a little bit more weight to them. So I'm just going to I'll show you what I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut off of these things. Just make a little bit more streamlined. I'm not going to go all of them though. Just going to go a wee bit. I'm going to keep a bit of weight there. Just make it look a little bit more streamlined. Uh, streamlined. So just cut that one off like that. I want to do the same on this one. I want it looking nice and symmetrical. Oh yeah. Oh and off. It's a good little cast that. That, was, uh, that last one is the closest that we actually hooked one today. Not a bad little cast. Nearly produced the fish. I think we might change the brown up on these rocks. Couldn't hurt, could it? So I've changed to the two inch bug in the coffee. Should be able to see that pretty well there guys. Uh, we might get rid of the the wings on that as well, we'll just see a few casts here and then go up to some nice slow water. A bit easier to oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, oh, that was a fish twice, I reckon. Good looking holes here. Won't get too far ahead of myself though. Oh, that was a fish. Okay. Thought it was just rocks, but I saw him dart off. So, again, we might have to make some adjust adjustments to this. But before I do that, I'll just I'll fish a few more holes. You never know. So, we'll find somewhere to get rid of these wings oh yeah that was definitely a fish then didn't see him but just you can tell you can tell the difference between a rock and a fish usually let's try and get one here eh? if i get one i can have a beer i thought it was going to be on a lot lot quicker today than what it was yesterday but hey that's fishing now i'll go up wouldn't say wreck the hole now we've fished all the bottom of the hole Go up and fish the top of the hole. Yep. Oh, that's a good fish. Right up, Hanno, right up. I always say it's a good fish, don't I, guys? That's a good fish. But here, where's my net? Oh, I'm gonna wreck it. Oh, where is the bloody net? I lost the net, no, there it is. I cannot get the bloody, oh, I'm gonna do my shoulder. Here we go. Oh, you ripper. He's better than the two that I got yesterday, or the two bigger ones that I got yesterday. So yeah, that was good. We fished the bottom of the hole, then fished the top of the hole, 
and yeah we were rewarded you know with a low 30s trap and he's very very plump anyway i'll come back for the release he's got it a bit deep so we might have to keep him we'll see what happens took a bit of stuffing around but i've got it out of him he might be a little bit worse for wear might take a while to take off but we'll go underwater and see how we go I take a lot of photos when I'm out here but sometimes I don't take a lot of photos because I don't catch enough fish. I basically only take photos if I catch a fish and I catch a bit of a break. You've got to try and change something up. There we go. Oh, good fish. Rainbow. Oh. Well done. He's not a bad fish. Look, he's throwing the hook, so that was just in time. Yeah, he's a 25, mid 20s, just about to change the lure. Been tough. There's some older footprints there. Been tough going. Just get a photo and come back for the release in a minute. So I've got about an hour of fishing time to go and I've gone to a spinner, would you believe it? And there's no real reasoning behind it. I just thought I'd give something different a go. Did just get the rainbow. But uh, it's a windy day, lots of stuff getting pushed into the water and I did get a hit on this lure yesterday. So you never know. Wait, first cast with it. First cast. And we've got it. So I might get some of those littler fish to go for it, eh? So I won't get a photo of him. Just get him back in. Oh, just get him back in the water. Wet me hand. He's only just hooked. First cast with the little map size size one. Um, copper and black lure. So. The brown was working today, it is a black lure. And um, yeah, first cast, look at that. See you, mate. There's the bloody backdrop. Oh! Looked like a rainbow. I didn't actually see him. But, oh, yep, that's a better fish. Might have foul hooked him or something. No, no. slightly better than the last brown but yeah look definitely leaving the spinner on now guys we'll come back for the release beautiful colors on him Probably might even get a photo of him see you mate i don't know why i thought he's foul hooked he's just fighting bigger than what he was but that's literally a hit for uh two fish in nine minutes and Rainbow followed it right up and nearly grabbed it as it popped out of the water. So definitely sticking with the spinner. Now, if I don't get any bigger fish for the rest of the session, but I only get, you know, these small ones. Oh, that was a hit. Or a flash at it. I'm pretty certain. Still going to be happy because I actually get a little bit bored <laughs> when I'm not catching fish. Just like anyone, like a five-year-old kid does. Let's get it over the back there. But they don't usually do the long cast, but uh, we'll try just in front of us first.
slower water, slower retrieve. Go over the back here. Don't always catch something here, but generally get a hit or something. Yep. Oh, I thought it was on. Oh, yep, was on and then off. It's the only thing with a, with a spinner, you tend to put a lot more casts in. I'm gonna try and get it closer to these blackberries. And again, it's pretty much the same cast as before, so. Oh yeah, I saw a little fish come over the sandbank looking at it. So I reckon if I can get one in just that bit closer to those blackberries, don't be too pussy with the hat, that's it. Might be in luck. Oh yeah, I saw another little one following it. As soon as I cross that current, they'll know that's not natural for uh, a small bug to swim through it like that. That's more where I saw the first one. I think I've uh, missed my opportunity there, but that's all right. That's, yeah, just, just dropped another one off camera, just threw it up through that fast stuff. And that's the difference between a plastic and a spinner is where you can actually work it. Look at that, fish just jumped in front of me. Is he gonna grab it? Yes, he is, and he's off. That would have been that fish from there, come over there that quick. This last 20 minutes has been as much action as I've had in a short amount of time, all season long. Yes, small fish, we're fishing a small creek. Yes, there are bigger fish in here, but hey, I'll take the action any time of the week. Might lose him here. Get another little one. I don't know if you saw that, but instead of going the right hand side, I went up the left hand side much slower on there. And I actually could see the V line behind and just kept on cranking it. Don't stop the spinner. Keep it going. See you, mate. See you, buddy. Got another one. Number six, if I can land him. Oh, a little, oh, I thought it was a rainbow. It's just a par, put the par markings on the brown. We won't get a photo. Just, uh, let me hand. It's number six. Yeah, just getting the little tackers, but yeah, I'm happy with that. See you, mate. I'm able to get one in at the front of it. Uh, maybe up the back of it, sort of. You see that fern now? Maybe you can see a little bit of water, sort of the back end of the eddy there. Good cast. Yep, we got one. This is a, well, felt better, but it's not. I'll go, go use the net. Number seven, tiny fish. Take it again, we won't get a photo. We're sort of, now we're fishing fast. But uh, I did the bit of the old smart ass, oh, you know, talk about the hole, but I like to explain what I'm doing, guys, where I'm casting and why I'm casting. And for you seasoned campaigners, I apologize. But yeah, beautiful little mountain brown. See you, mate. Got me into the sport, this type of fishing. It's not all about big fish for me. Numbers, yeah, it's good to get 10 plus sort of thing. But uh, at the start of the season, end of the season, you know, if you get two or three, you do the hard yards. Good fun, just getting them. But yeah, pretty much most of these fish I've caught have been in those nooks and crannies, still putting it up against snags, still putting it, you know, still a bit of skill involved. There's a bloody perfect fern just stuck underneath there to get us through here. Pretty confident we might get one here. Yep, got one. That's a little bit better, is it? That's number eight. Okay, number eight. A little bit bigger. Probably like 22, maybe 21. 
Hey guys, Hanno here from New Jeep Bush Goods YouTube channel. I'm a little exhausted after that three hour mission. Uh, end up getting on to about eight or nine trail. I think it might have just been eight, but uh, best numbers of the season. Uh, got torn the plastics, end up going back to spinners for beginners and uh, did pretty well towards the end. They just shut off there at the end of the, the session, but uh, really enjoyed it. If you like the video, give it a fat thumbs up. Sub if you're not subbed already and please drop some comments down there. It encourages other people to like and um, and watch my channel. Uh, check out Blake's Fish Adventures and check out Bella Eddie's Fishing as well. Good friends of mine. Check them out. Give them a sub. Thanks so much, guys. Cheers.